Welcome back. 613, former President Donald Trump spent an hour in Atlanta turning himself into the Fulton County Jail. Yeah, it comes a little over a week after he was indicted on multiple charges, 13 counts in Fulton County to be exact, and his alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 election in Georgia. We're seeing the mugshot of an American president for the first time, certainly unprecedented. Mr. Trump was booked in the jail, made his $200,000 bond, and left from Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson Airport before boarding his plane. He did speak to reporters. There's never been anything like it in our country before. We did nothing wrong at all, and we have every right, every single right, to challenge an election that we think is dishonest. Yeah, Mr. Trump not taking any questions after that. It's his fourth time surrendering in four separate criminal cases. In all, he is facing 91 charges. The former president still has to be arraigned in Fulton County, along with the 18 co-defendants named in this indictment. So now that the dust has settled from the historic day for Fulton County, what can we expect as the legal process grinds on? Well, Savannah Levins and Ed Gluten break down the next steps in this case. So now that former President Trump has left the state of Georgia, let's talk about when he'll be back. Let's talk next steps and arraignments. This building right behind us, Nick, the Fulton County Courthouse. This is where the attorneys for those uh, defendants have been negotiating bond deals. You've been speaking with a lot of those attorneys. What have you heard from them? When's the next time we're going to see these defendants in a courtroom? Yeah, so the next time that you see former President Trump and his co-defendants in Fulton County, it's going to be in the building right behind me and Judge Scott McAfee's courtroom. Now, arraignment timeline is still a little bit fuzzy for a lot of these folks. We know that Willis wants it that right after Labor Day, that week of September 5th. Kenneth Cheese Bros is set for September 6th. Uh, there was a motion earlier today and a ruling from the judge because he wants a speedy trial. He wants this to move quickly. So McAfee's going to have to make a decision on all of these other defendants, including Harrison Floyd, who did not have a bond when he surrendered to the jail earlier today. And let's talk about kind of cheese bro because that kind of messed up a lot of the timeline we were looking at initially. Bonnie Willis was talking about a March date for the trial itself. Kind of cheese bro filing that motion for a speedy trial. DA Willis coming back with an October 23rd trial start date. So that could still happen potentially not likely for all 19 defendants and Cheeseboro could still waive that and say they need more time but we will be interesting to see what happens and what happened with Trump and his team today. Yeah, so that's what we're looking at now. A uh, former president Trump filed a motion. He clearly does not want a speedy trial. He's going to file a motion to sever and I think you'll also see other defendants in this case try to split. So this dream that Willis has of trying all 19 together might not happen.